Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's me, Barbarisi from the Bronx, now in Manhattan. What's up, what's up, what's up? So this is part two of the videos that me and Tita love from the South South Bronx were making before. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, yo, we went to this pizza place, and uh, yes, this pizza is popping. It is big. It's a jumbo pizza. Yes, tell him, Bob, describe the pizza since, Joy. you know, Tito's a foodie and all, and so am I, but, you know, Tito's the one who's doing the thingy thing, dang. Yo, right. Brooklyn, what's up, girl? Your shoulders. Go ahead, Bob. Pick it up. I'm holding the phone. I'm going to nudge it up. Look at that. Look at that big slice. Ooh, yeah. guys, look at that delicious. Take a bite and tell him how it is, Bob. Oh, I got to take my mic. So yeah. No. What you give it? What you give it? A I scale of one ten. to ten. I give it Gives a ten. Gives it a ten. And, and we have um, shoulder. We got broccoli. Okay, so I got me and little Weedy B. Oh, let's check on Weedy B, guys. Oh, look at the angel of love, my boy. We always take his shoes off when he falls asleep, my baby. I love my son with all my heart. Okay, so we got. This one is called a margarita. Yo, margarita. With no alcohol virgin. And what you doing? We got broccoli. Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me show you if I can show you the camera so you can see it. Papi, what you doing? I'm trying to show you the camera view. No, you can't do that. Did you just stop the video? No, you can't do that. Look, guys. Delicious. Oh my god, so good. So good. Mmm. Oh my god. I love it. I'll give it. I'll give it 20. Mmm. That pizza is good. Yo, let me try this one. Oh my god. Dude. Guys, do you see the size of this pizza? Oh my god, it's bigger than my head. I got a big ass head. <laughs> right, Bob? That's a big, uh -huh. big brain, genius brain. Thank you, Lord. All right, yo, this guy's like, yo, what are they doing? <laughs> We're eating. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, these teeth work real good too. Yeah, Thank I God. never knew that they make pieces that <laughs> big. Anyway, those are jumbo slice. Yeah, babe, they do. Oh God, it's good. Ooh, the, look at the broccoli. Is that nice? And the, the cheese. Ooh, it's falling apart. Rip that in half, Bob. Half of me, half the. Where the way to, where to be? So we're going to St. John's, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm so grateful. Oh, wait. You know what? God forgive me. Thank you, Lord, for this food that I'm about to receive. That'd be healthy and nourishing for me, my baby, and Boingy from the South South Bronx Show. One thing about me and Tito, especially when we first got together, you know, when a lot of stressful things started happening that I'll get into, had not between us, but an outside force, you think that through trials and tribulations, people would pray more. But honestly, I mean, not me personally but then afterward yes and I usually don't share this with anyone because the Lord says when you pray in secret if you like pray outward you know in a public display unless you're praying over other people it's different but like if you pray and like make yourself a spectacle to make yourself look like you're better than others God's not going to listen to you because it's not from your heart but why am I saying this? Because every night, and I'm sharing this with you because there's, a, there's something else that happened. Contrary. Every night before I went to sleep, and even when I didn't, I would get on my face and thank God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and ask him to forgive me for my wretched ways. And... I stopped doing that, and I don't know why. I do pray in my heart, but I don't know why. Like, 
It's, right, Tito used to see me on the floor, and he'd be like, what do you do? He thought, honestly, just before I had read me, he thought that I was nodding out from my methadone. But I wasn't. I was praying. Praying hardcore. And you know what? I'm glad I'm saying this, because I need to start doing that. God has so brought I. me, yeah. And there's another thing, me and him would pray over our food every night. Yeah. Every night. And this is before I got totally clean and sober, because remember, I've been off the heroin for eight years and the crap for eight years, but I was still using intravenously cocaine up until almost four years ago. So even when I was doing that, we were praying, like, prayer warriors. And guys, I used to give out tracts, right, Tito? Mm -hmm. I used to make my own tracts, meaning, like, tell people about Jesus and hand them out to people random. I still have some of them. And I'm going to do it again because it's wrong. I can't believe I stopped doing those things. I'm so ashamed of myself. I really, really am. Like, that's wrong. See, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's my shame that I have to work on. I have to work on a lot of things. I'm just trying to better myself as a person. You know, like, I need to pray. I pray for the children, though. That I do. But I'm saying, like, pray to thank God for the things he's done for me. That I lack thereof. But honestly, I'm a prayer warrior for the children. The children and the animals. I love praying for children and animals. Like I, I cry. I, my heart breaks. And Tito used to tell me, but why are you crying? Right, Papi? He used to tell me, why are you crying? And it's like, but I'm crying for the children of the world. I don't want them to suffer because I know what it's like to suffer. I know what it's like to not have anybody care about you, to be all alone 